Hi, in this video I will show you how to use app for, for converting QFX files into a PDF. So this is my website, I will be linked on this site in the description. To find app I will click on search and type QFX and click on apps page. Then click on QF to PDF, QFX to PDF, I'm sorry. And click on download button to download, it, to download this app. And wait until file will be downloaded from Google Cloud. So uh, QFX is Quicken Financial Exchange format is a proprietary format by uh, Intuit, I think, and uh, it uh, contains uh, financial information about uh, transactions, amounts so on and we will convert this file into PDF. So you can see this um, archive has been downloaded on my computer. I'll click on download that archive. To open it, double click on the MSI inside archive to start installation. Click on more info here. Now I'm getting this screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. I'll just click run in a way to start installation. Click on next, next install on yes here and click on finish and final screen and you can see app has been installed on my computer having a shortcut on my desktop so now I can close this and this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now conversion is three steps process. In the first step I uh, have to click to select input file I, I will select input files one or many if I want many files into uh, my PDFs it's fine. So then I will find my QFX files here just pick one and after all files selected I'll click on next step now next step I um, can specify result format flat is a table with all records which is okay document size a4 to uh, let's put it a3 to make it bigger a4 is usually okay but it depends um, how many textual information is in QFX sometimes there are like big memo um, descriptions of transactions in there so um, A3 is bigger a little bigger than 4 and A2 is much bigger and so on A0 is the biggest format PDF so A3 thing is fine let's try A3 and after all selected click on next step and on final step I'll just click run to start conversion and you can see it's asking me for location and name of the files. This name and location is okay, just click save. You can see file has been saved. Let's go and see file. I'll double click on PDF. I don't have a PDF viewer, I have a Chrome. Chrome is showing. <laughs> and you can see um, all transactions are shown into my PDF. Let's make it a little bit more. I'm sorry, I don't have a like normal PDF viewer, but you can see. It has a like name of the file and all uh, type where it posted amount transaction ID name memo. This was I was talking about like some memo uh, textual information in it account number a balance amount and uh, balance date. So yeah, basically that's it. Um, this account number uh, these three fields are specific for this account, so they will be probably will be the same for group of transactions because it contains uh, account information and amount uh, for this date on this account. So, yeah, basically that's it. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in comments below. Thank you.